What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Gaming Channel. My name is AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with This is the Police. Yes, I'm gonna keep doing that. I I actually enjoy doing that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I I have honestly just absolutely fallen in love with this game. I mean, the art style, the the narrative, the gameplay, just everything. I absolutely fucking love this game. Um, so I'm just gonna sit here and play this game. Um, I'm probably just gonna whack out a couple videos just because I can. So uh, yeah, let's get going. Day 14. City crime rate increased by 31%. Mayor's nephew expresses desire to become uh, FPD chief. Freeburg farmers report record harvest. A uh, big thing we got to watch right now is uh, we're in the middle of a gang war between that dude who caught us peeing in the alley in the last video and the Sands. Um, I'm too tired. I can order the walk straight. Can I go home? Yeah, you're drunk, you f piece of crap. Go home. Also, I need to build up his, his, uh, his, I can't think what to call it, his, um, stuff. Alright. His stamina, there we go, Jesus. Or fatigue, or whatever you want to call it. Ugh. Alright, your friends uh, sent you the share from the sale of the non-automatic weapons. Share 50% with your staff. Oh, um... Yeah, we'll share, we'll share with the staff. Keep them happy. What's the A? What's, uh, what's that mean? Okay, so we can ask for more stuff tomorrow. We got nothing in the labor market. Oh, cool, so we can take a look at... All the, all the stuff that we've done right and done wrong. Okay, so we didn't handle the protest correctly, but we've done... We've eliminated the Red Mask Gang. Yeah, we didn't do that Mafia assignment, but... Whatever. Sands need our help. Uh, actually, we do need to start backing up. Uh, we, need, we need to get the Sands back up, because if his score falls below the other guy... I think Vaga, I think is his name. If his score falls below him for three or more days... I, the Mafia will kill me, so I have to balance, I have to, it's a lot of balancing and a lot of thinking. Um, so we will send Asano, Ildrum, and Adams. Uh, our people were scouting ahead of Mr. Sand's movements, and we spotted a punk carrying a gun. There's sure to be a few more bastards lurking nearby. Let's get together and turn the tables on the slimeball crew. Send my guys after him. Let's take a look at our investigations real quick. Homicide. And the hit and run. Detectives. Um, yeah, DeBrito. I'm, I'm actually going to archive that case. Actually, let's also take a look at the homicide case. Let's throw... Bo -bo -bo, throw Porter on this one. So he can be a part of that because they're all going to be on one day. The archive. Reopen the case. Now I can reassign the lead, and we'll make it Mole as the lead, and Ackers with her, and we'll also throw, boom, DeBrito on the case when he comes back. There we go. Uh, the attendant at the arcade called in a complaint about two teenagers who broke uh, the steering wheel off the turbo nitro uh, machine and are currently fleeing the scene. Uh, Yancey should be able to handle that solo. Yeah, I, um... With that, I'm, I'm gonna try and keep on the investigations, try and keep the... If I'm gonna back somebody up, I want, uh... Let's see here. Uh, the wife of the mayor's press secretary loves choral singing. Today's her birthday, so please send some men with good voices. Okay. Keep City Hall happy. Uh, what was I saying? Alright, I'm gonna try and keep, uh, with the investigations, try and keep the detectives working on the cases all in the same shift. Because I think I'm I'm not assigning enough people, or wait till my detectives get better, or I get more of them to kind of spread it out like that. Well done, well done. It's just, I think it all just kind of comes down to, it all, it all kind of comes down to the number of uh, detectives I have, how good of detectives they are and all that. So I, I think that's the big problem of why I'm not making any progress. Uh, see, we have an illegal arms sale and eyewitness reports uh, that a man is selling weapons on the street right out of the trunk of his car. Someone is going to get shot uh, every night around here. 
or someone is getting shot every night around here, you need to finally do something, all right? This sounds like uh, we send everyone we got. All right, well, the day's proceeding. Seems like this is uh, gonna be a low call kind of day. Vargas, uh, Mr. Varga told us to bring him a van full of fruit, but Sandsmen uh, caught up to our driver on the bridge, and they're throwing the shipment into the river. Maybe you can get there quickly enough to save a box or two of oranges. Um, the other weird thing about helping out Varga is we still have to complete like 50% of his missions, but at the same time, we can't keep we can't have the Sands lose more than three days in a row. Uh, yeah, we'll send Yancey as backup. Yeah, I'll I'll let this one go because we did a lot. We did I think like two. Yeah, we did three missions for him yesterday, so we'll be we'll still be fine. So we won't. Yeah, we won't send somebody to uh, to work on that one. Uh, there's a oh there's a firefight at the port. We kind of have to wait till. Uh, We'll see if we can get everybody back in time. Defenders caught. Officers weren't harmed. Civilians weren't harmed. Everybody boosts and non-automatic weapons were found. Um, let's bring those to the police station. I'm, I'm going to try and not like break the law like that that often. Well, I mean, how to put it. Ooh, the sands need help. One of our minor deliveries got intercepted by some fucking punks. Boxes of towels, napkins, and various cooking utensils that were supposed to be going to the ranch are now scattered across the highway like a circus sideshow. They're having a laugh and making us look like clowns, too. We're not too broken up uh, about the towels, but we still need to teach the punks a lesson. All right? Until everybody gets back... We'll send Asano to help out the Sands. And the firefight at the port will send Kochi, Yancey, Gardner, Tsubaki, along with SWAT and the Paddy Wagon. Oh, great. Uh, Mr. Boyd, I feel bad about coming to you again, but you're really the only uh, one who can help me with this. Those records that my ex sued me for... Well, I got them back, of course, and I guess this could be nothing, but her big-nosed brother had his sights on them. The idiot even hired a private detective who's been at my store three days straight, and now he has the audacity to come into my house and accuse me of being involved with the record's disappearance. I don't know if he has any evidence, but the risk is just too high. Can you scare them both and make sure they stop um, poking their nose in other people's business? My store is open for you at any time, okay? Well, we'll, uh, we'll, we kind of have to wait and see what we can do, but I don't think we're going to be able to send people to help him out. Wish we could. Uh, suspicious individual former uh, psychiatric patient Labaco Clark called the police because a maniac was harassing people at the store. Uh, according to Labaco, there's a killer on the loose. Uh, I think that's going to be a, that's going to be a false alarm. But yeah, we're not going to be able to send anybody to to help that guy out. We're just we just don't have the we don't have the officers. The Vargas also need help. Uh, the guys were outside having a beer. Sands people have been fired at us. Aren't the police supposed to do something? That's true. Officer on scene. Uh, the criminals detach. Uh, the criminal. The police detachment arrived on scene and found three corpses and six criminals armed with automatic weapons surrounding the cargo container. The criminals spotted the police and two of them already rushed to escape. Everybody freeze. Put your hands on your head. The remaining criminals are hiding inside a shipping container. You're surrounded. Come on with your hands up. Smoke them out. Offenders caught. Officers were unharmed. All right, and we found cocaine. Ooh, I think the I think the mafia could sell that cocaine for a good sum. God, do I do I I I could send somebody to help him out because I need because I I need to keep my score with the sands up, and I think we're tied now. If my memory serves. Yep, false alarm. The man's suspicions were aroused by a shopping center employee wearing a costume. He was dressed as a hero from the movie, dressed in blood. He was pretending to menace uh, visitors as part of the fun, but he wasn't going to kill anyone. 
report on the hit and run. Ooh, three new frames. Open the investigation up. Can't be this one because he wasn't in that car. Get in the car. They hit him. All right. But yeah, that the car color wasn't right for one of the frames that we picked up. Oh, that's right. I have the the arson case on and on the archive, which we should probably open that case back up soonish. But I want I want to finish that that homicide case before anything else. Sands are three. They become the leader. Oh, the Vargas are at two. Oh, I'm not. I'm not sure. Did they lose one because I didn't help them today? I'm not entirely sure how that works, but whatever. Now they're the leader again, which is good for us. I still want to know what this A is. I, I don't understand what that A is. Meh. Sometimes we're not really explained some things. Mayor proves his commitment to nepotism. Mayor Rogers, if my nephew wants to lead the police, I support him. City police chief not elected position, says Mayor Rogers. Go to work. Alright, straight into things. I'm suffering extreme severe case of anxiety. Uh, yeah, come tomorrow though. I was up all night reading uh, an exciting detective uh, story called The Last Temptation of Neptune, but I didn't have time uh, to get to the ending. I am almost certain the killer was the uh, the general, the house cat. You know, I simply cannot resist until I know for sure. Can I go home and finish reading? No. Oh, it was A, meaning he was shift A. Never mind. I understand what it is. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Yeah, go home, Stobel. And I have one more striped dish out. Has anyone been doing really good work on this one that I can... Can I give it... Also give it to... Oh, I can also give it to detectives. Moser's been doing hella good work. Oh... But I could use more officers with higher ranks. So let's give it to Von Dahl. I think he. I think he's been doing good. Start the day. Like I'm not sure if I should be use if I should be using those things like tactically to be like raising people's ranks or whatever, but I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of going with a narrative purpose of who I think is doing a good job to you know hand dish them out to. Head to the map. All right. Oh wow, man, we are low on officers today. What? The mutilated body of uh, Alisar uh, Samadhi was found in the sewer. It seems the homicide was carried out by several men who were strikingly cruel and intent or whatever. Uh, considering certain recent events, uh, we are obliged to grant some uh, concessions to the feminists. You are to make sure that at least half of the staff at the police station are women. You have three days. Okay. I need I need more officers then. That shifts all men. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have five females. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so I either need eight more female cops. What, can I not hire somebody to replace Samadhi? Oh, because I have to declare him dead. Um... Declared dead. You will be missed, my friend. You will be missed. Um, we need to bring in a female cop. Uh, wait, I can't tell. Yeah, a uh, hundred. Uh, yeah. Hire her for uh, shift A. Suicide threat at the bridge. A taxi driver heard someone screaming and noticed a few people gathering on the bridge. As he was driving past, uh, driving past towards the port, he stopped to see if anyone needed help, but as he approached, he saw that a man was threatening to show himself and two children into the icy water below. Jason left us, I lost my job and the house, and there's no way we'll survive. It's better if everything just ends now. The taxi driver, it looked like suicide. 
All right, well, I think Van Dahl should be able to handle this one solo. I don't know why we'd need a lot of cops on that one. I'm a breaking and entering. An elderly man speaking in a raspy voice just reported a break-in. There's someone in my house. They're uh, pounding on the door and marching all down, all around, the, uh, all around the downstairs. Hurry, sent Dixon and Gardner. My deputy. I can hire a stit. I can hire another snitch. Yeah, but do I want to? After what happened to uh, to poor Samadi. Hmm. Let's make, uh, let's make, let's pay Vandal to be our new snitch. Cause I, I think I need to have one just to keep an eye on who's going to, uh, you know, maybe rat me out to the, uh, to the feds. Got a uh, two tearful boys, clearly in a state of shock, are standing dangerously close to the edge of the bridge. Beside them, their drunk and distraught father is slowly, uh, pushing the children closer to the precipice. Don't be upset, my friend. Tell me about your wife. Don't worry there. Everything is going to be fine. Don't be upset, my friend. Tell me about your husband. Tell me about your wife, my friend. The strongest wind almost blows one of the children off the bridge, but he recovered at the last moment, stumbled to the ground and with a scuffed knee. Um, look, uh, look, quit fooling around. These children have already suffered enough. The man slurs his words, saying that there's no point to delaying the inevitable. Think about what you're doing. There's people who care about you. Your children have their whole lives in front of them. You can't make this decision for them. Yeah. Let's try it that way. The offender at least escaped. The officer was unharmed. Civilians were unharmed. Really? You drop... You, I, I lose points for that? Whatever. Secretary Abigail Jones told the police that her boss, Martin Cabock, returned from a meeting in, a, in quite a state. When he entered, he took a bag of white powder from his safe and shut the door. Now he's yelling incessantly and making a scene, demanding that his secretary de deliver him the head of a unicorn or he'll cut her throat with a letter opener. And then go after the rest of her family. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm like having a coked up boss. <laughs> now we got a breaking and entering. Uh, there was no one except our son of a bitch. Destruction of property at the church. Yeah, we don't have a, we don't have a... Take Beasley off this case and make him the lead on this one. The offender escaped. Officer was unharmed. Civilians were unharmed. And we found cocaine. Again, I'm kind of going back and forth between sell and bring to the police station. Sands need help at the Octopus restaurant. A member of our family was at a restaurant having dinner with a secret lover, but before the affair was, uh, but because the affair was secret, he was light on protection, and one of the Vargas agents was able to slip a grenade into the room. This is a job best handled for the police, uh, officially, of course. Uh, no, not gonna help you. you. The Sands can burn for all I care. Um, Dick, Rick, and Mick, all right, always wanted to dine at an expensive restaurant, uh, dressed like punks today. They got a bit of cash from yesterday's haul and decided it was time to live a little, but before they could even get a table, two of the Sandsmen entered the restaurant and shot them dead on spot. We were stood outside watching, and now they're firing at us. Um, Dixon, Van Dahl, handle that one. We have uh, this, uh, this destruction of property here. Uh, I've been going to Sunday service for 36 years, and this is the first time I've ever seen such a disgrace. Some crazy young man on a motorcycle drove straight through the doors of God's temple and began running around shouting blasphemy. He even dared raise his hand to the Holy Father Nunez. What is, uh, what is it with the youth of today? It all happened so quickly, the guy drove straight between the pews, almost crushing a parishioner. Then he looked into the confessional and threw in a bottle, and he ran up to me and shouted, The devil sits on the roof of the church. Oh, and see, we there's more. Yeah, okay, I was right. That As we keep going, there's going to be more and more panels. Um, devil sits on the roof of the church. Then he shoved me. I fell to the floor, and the crazy man shouted, My hand is uh, hard as stone. I'll knock you out of the saddle, Satan. 
and then he threw his helmet at the cross above the altar and sped away. Let's see here. Uh, I was in the confessional when it happened. I was waiting for Father Nunez to finish his sermon so he could hear me. I have sinned so much this week as I was sitting in the confessional. I heard voice, uh, heard noises of an engine like a motorcycle. Then there was a roar and the man shouted, Come, Lucifer, do not hide from me. A few seconds later, a young man in a black leather jacket opened the door of the confessional and yelled, I will seek out the devil wherever he may hide. And then he threw a bottle at me. The shard struck in my face. At the crime scene, we found a black helmet with a white spot on top. On the pavement near the church, we found traces of three motorcycle tires. Interesting. What's the uh, the three tires? Yeah, I'm letting that one go. As the day just kind of keeps rattling on, I guess for a day that I had low, low people. Hostage situation. Let's see here. Uh, a man wearing a suit walked into a lobby of the bank, locked the doors, and proceeded to kill several customers. He never said a word. He just started firing at people. Reported one eyewitness. A dozen people remain inside the building, and the criminals' demands are, are as yet to be known. Gardner, Robbins, and the SWAT. can't yeah I can't I can't I can't send you I can't send backup defenders were caught officers weren't harmed all right even though I didn't send backup like if they could have waited just like a little couple more seconds sweet girl named Anna is one of our key uh, assets in a large accounting firm she just got home from work and found her house was on fire and the assholes that started it all are uh, still standing around, admiring their handiwork. Wouldn't it be pet, uh, pretty if someone cracked the skulls open and tossed them onto the flames? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, let's send, let's send some help for the Sands. Just, I, I'm trying to keep it close, but give, but still keep Varga in the lead. But you know, I got, I got to keep it close just in the event that um, I can't think what their names are. I, I gotta keep it close, just in case of, uh... The Vargas need help. Our guys usually meet up in an, at an abandoned building at the end of the day to go over the score, but Sand figured out uh, where we were meeting and turned the whole building into a fire trap. We're trying to get our friends out of there before the whole building goes up, but we need some professional help. And we'll send some guys there. Like I'm saying, I'm trying, I'm trying to keep it close... So that uh, on the chance that I need to put Sand back in the lead, so he doesn't, you know, kill me, I can I, I can do that. So, all right. So uh, also tomorrow, my request for more uh, for another police unit and another um, was another police unit and another. Um, God damn, I can't think of it. Another police unit and a. So he probably drove in. Okay, so he threw a bottle at the guy inside the... So he didn't grab... As far as I can tell, he never grabbed a parishioner. He threw the... He threw his, uh, his helmet there. Keep uh, keep investigating that and report on the homicide. No new frames. Do I have everything I need? I'm trying to think here, cause, I, cause I'm not finding anything. I only heard a few muffled shots. I can't, yeah, I was nearly hit by someone's car. Is that it? Or was he hit coming back? There we go! Oh, I'm, so I'm sorry, I I've had this one for the longest time. I'm just super dumb. Travis Horton, a known racist who's already had, who already has several previous convictions. We'll close that case, and we can send... 
Dixon and Vandal. Moser to handle that one. Going to investigations, going to the archive. We have this arson case that we can now reopen. Put Porter on that one. And then we can put Moser to back up, um, to back up, um, Porter. Okay, okay. I, I was thinking that whole that whole thing with the uh, with the drugstore wasn't important, and that's why I haven't been picking up new frames in that one. It's all just because there's no, nothing to report there. Offender was caught. We're able to arrest all the suspects. All right, that was a pretty successful day. Sands have four. Vargas have four. It's a tie get ball game right now. Yeah, it's a poor Samadhi. Uh, I'm probably going to piss off City Hall because I don't think I'm going to be able to make the 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 gender equivalency dead even. Uh, businessmen express a desire to leave City. 86% uh, of residents oppose demolition of Corn Monument. Corn Monument. Movie production studio may appear in Freeburg. Drink too much. Uh, I don't think I can hold it together. God damn it, Debrito. Fine. Yes, coming tomorrow. No, I have I have him on I, I have him as lead on one of the cases. I need him to start pulling some work. Okay, so we can now hire another detective. We'll hire her, her to shift B because Debrito has been completely unreliable. And we can hire another officer and Koenig and again hire her for shift A. Because A is running low on officers. And our share from the cocaine sales. Wow, I'll take that. Alright, so let's take a look at the investigations now that we have a new... Oh, wait, no, DeBrito isn't even... Never mind, I thought DeBrito was was a lead. Um, do we have everything on the, ar on the arson investigation? I mean, we, we're not picking up new... New frames. Yeah, because that's her running in. She didn't run in. There's got to be new frames that we can grab in that one. That we're, we're missing something. We'll put in Moser to help out Porter on the, on the arson case. And... Uh, yeah, we'll we'll put uh, put Johnson here to help mole Ackers and all them on the uh, hit and run case. Sands need help. Uh, the Sand family's uh, main attorney is under guard around the clock, and that goes double for his children. But before we could pick them up from school this morning, some of Varga's met punks kidnapped them. We don't know how Varga found them. They live under false names. Anyway, you'll need to act quickly. Uh, they can't have gotten far. Oh, jeez. I mean, it's kids, and I want to help kids, but at the same time, I can't. Fine, but I but I gotta I gotta help out the Vargas because I'm gonna put them back in the lead, and I, I've also been skimping out on some of their missions lately. So right. uh, fight at Freeburg Elementary. Two senior students uh, began to fight right in the middle of chemistry class. Their teacher Dolores Ponder first tried to calm them down, but when she attempted to separate them, she was poked in the eye. Uh, Asano and Yildirim should be able to handle that one. Jeez, oh, we have a have a theft going on. All right, investigations. Our detectives. Uh, we'll pull we'll pull Johnson off of the hit and run case then. And we will put her... Can we not make her the lead detective? I 
guess we can't make her the lead detective. Fine, then we'll put her... Oh, because she's at home today, because... Right, we just hired her. Okay, that makes some sense. Uh, we'll bring... A then we'll drop Ackers off the hit-and-run case, and we'll put him in charge of this investigation. There we go. 11, 11. Progress. Drug sales, St. John's Hospital. Uh, Miss Dunbar said that a nurse tried to sell her drugs right in the hospital. I went to the doctor after I broke my arm. The nurse heard me complaining about my about the pain and waited until the doctor left. Then she uh, started telling me about the pills she could get me better than Vicodin, according to her. Uh, Yancey, Subaki, handle that one. Report on the fight. Fenders were caught. Officers were unharmed. Well done. Alright, let's see here. Uh, museum guard. I walk the museum every hour. The alarm is off. City Hall won't allocate money to fix it. I didn't hear the glass breaking. It's a big museum. When I went down this way again, it was already early morning. The window was broken and the canvas was cut from the frame. Uh, there was no trace of uh, anyone around, just a brick lying on the floor. Uh, the parking lot was empty all night. In the morning, a cyclist went past with a tube on his shoulder. The guy slowly rolled into the parking lot, then left the bike for a couple of minutes and went out of sight. Then he came back, got on the bike, and left. Uh, I suffer from insomnia and often go cycling around the city late at night. I took a tube and some other equipment so I wouldn't have to go back uh, home before my morning classes. At the art school, I stopped at the museum to pee. I admit it. I like to mark the corner of the building. <laughs> I imagine one day my work will be hanging inside. Um, all right. In his lecture, I mean that 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 matches with the with the parking lot camera at least. So I'm not sure yet. Uh, in his lectures on the works of the Dutch masters, Bram van der Hoff always sharply criticized the works of the room. He dismissed the legendary artist as overpriced mediocrity and was very amused when an unknown de Vroom painting was discovered in the city dump. He said it was al uh, already in its proper place. He was less amused when he learned that the de Vroom painting uh, would be hung in the museum. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Brahm who broke into the museum and stole the painting to burn it or cut it into tiny pieces. The glass is almost completely broken out. A grown man could easily climb through the window and not cut himself. Most of, the sh most of the shards are lying on the pavement outside the museum. That's interesting. That means the glass would have to been broken off, broken from the inside. Uh, one of our guys broke into, apartment, um, into an apartment that Sand owns. Uh, the owner returned home, sensed something was wrong, pulled out a gun. Our man is still hiding somewhere inside. We could just go in there and get him out, but it wouldn't. But it would help if the police could create a distraction. Hmm. Yeah, that case, that's a uh, something I'm gonna have to really kind of think about. I'm not sure. Officers unharmed, loot found. Ooh, we found cocaine. And asked the Mafia to sell that coke. From Cornelius Blunt. Mr. Boyd, I'm a wealthy man and I'm concerned about the fate of our fair city. I would like to fund three additional officers' positions at your police department, but I must make one condition. My adopted son is to take one of the new jobs. Of course, you mustn't fire him under any circumstances. Do we have a deal? Yes, but... Oh, God, he sucks. I'm not surprised. Move him to shift A. So I think that'll make one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sweet. Gives us seven total officers. We've already hired her. Um, hire her for shift B. And we'll hire uh, Darius for shift A. There we go. Now we at least have more cops. I don't like it, but... Uh, some goons grabbed the half-sister of one of our family members right off the street. Her driver called us from a nearby payphone, but he's a wimp and couldn't actually do anything. From the description we got, it sounds like Varga's men. If you get there first, hold on to them for us. Don't hurt them too much. Just make sure you don't let them escape. We have something special planned for them. We're going to hold off on that. 
trying to, I'm, I, we're, we're going to hold off on that one, and I'll tell you why. Because I think uh, the score that's going on in my head were even. Oh, wait, I could actually put him into a trap and set up a crime and have him offed. Oh, I could do it. We're, we'll hold off for now, but it's tempting. Uh, parking valet just called in, reporting that a girl exiting an expensive car was approached by a man wearing a hood who threatened her and took her bag. Uh, Kochi, and we'll also send Percy, just to get him some... If we're going to use him, like, or, you know, if we're not going to have him killed or fired... Because we can't fire him, but we can probably have him killed. It's kind of a loophole, I know, but... Defender was caught. Officers are unharmed. Well, if we send him out with higher ranked people, we can maybe level him up pretty quick. An older prisoner, try, uh, tired of eating the food served by the prison cafeteria, made his way into the kitchen carrying a shiv, intent on having a word with the chef. A guard called the police as he was reluctant to enter the kitchen for fear of further provoking the prisoner. Uh, that sounds pretty, uh, pretty big. Yanti, Sano, Subaki, all you are going to handle that one. Do 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 do. Assault with an offensive here. weapon. Uh, the kitchen floor is decorated with broken plates and overturned pan filled with uh, muddy slush. An elder prisoner, an elderly prisoner, is sitting on a stool, dipping his hand into the pot of slush and shoving it towards the cook's face, yelling, "You try to eat this shit." Let's cook something else up. Only takes a minute. Uh, Hey, we a couple nice warm. Yeah, we got a nice couple warm burgers here. Caught unharmed civilian. So what? So what do we do? Do we do we take him somewhere else? Even though he, I mean, because we arrested him inside a prison, we just take him back to it. Like, how's that work? Vargas need help uh, today. We welcomed some new recruits into our ranks while we were performing the initiation ceremony. We had one man standing lookout. Sans people rushed the poor guy, set him on fire. And are standing there watching him die in agony. Someone has to do something to... Okay, Percy, handle that. Along with Adams. Wow. They took the guy and lit him on fire. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little extreme. Right. Three new frames on the, on the theft. there. Brick. And he climbs in. But that doesn't make too much sense to me, though, because, well, I mean, but the brick's on the inside, but if most of the shards are on the outside. Hmm. I don't know. Well, we'll go, we'll go with that for now. Report on the hit and run. We have two new frames. Uh, neither of those are correct, because it was a red car, wasn't it? Oh, it's a dark colored car. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I, I, I made that mistake. Do, 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 do. I I'm I'm not sure where I'm going wrong here. We we're gonna need some more frames. But yeah, it was a dark colored car. I don't know why I was thinking somebody said it was a red car. Eh, we should probably be able to play one more day. Before we uh, we close out, end this day, see what's going on. Sans are at five, Vargas is at six, and is the leader. I still love the that animation. There's something I really love about this art style. Let's 
Citizens' earnings have fallen 9% since the new year. Unemployment in Freeburg is lowest in history. Uh, former City Hall employee admits official unemployment data far from reality. Yeah, not surprised. Uh, going home. It's fine. Uh, the court is deciding to cuss the case of my children. Um, yeah, yeah, go go handle that, Dixon. Yeah, that's the, you know, that's your family. Uh, the burritos coming in came in today, which is good because we can actually get some maybe some work done on one of those cases. Uh, the catalog has new stuff, but again, we're not playing this just again for copyright issues, just in case. And tomorrow's the deadline. Okay, where are where are we right now as far as the cops go? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I have uh, we're way short on uh yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to meet that. I mean, we we could take some people out or fire some people, but we're not gonna be able to do it. Uh, the elderly Emma Weston called in a complaint about her neighbors. Her house is shaking from loud sounds of gnashing metal and roar of turbines, uh, accompanied by some strange beeping noises. Through the window, she also saw people moving around. Uh, King Koenig to handle that one. station can, what can we fire okay so we can fire her for being too old honestly we could probably fire the burrito for constantly coming in drunk and also for being too old I guess what about Ackers okay no we couldn't we couldn't fire him and uh, we could fire the burrito and hire a new detective yeah actually the guys who we have here kind of suck I mean, they're all at 100. I mean, the burrito uh, keeps coming... Like I said, he keeps coming in drunk. We'll give him one more chance. He comes in drunk one more time, I'm going to fire him. Just because he's at 150 and the uh, the other two detectives are at 100, I don't think firing him is our best decision. At least at the moment. So we'll hold off for now. Hostage situation with a, fatal, with a fatal casualty. Patients at the local asylum rebelled against the nurses during breakfast. Three nurses have been wounded, while others remained uh, locked in with the patients in the dining area. They're threatened, uh, they've threatened to kill one nurse every hour until they're released. Ooh, that's... Um, that's a send. That's a send a lot of people. Mission. Probably a false alarm, if anything. The offender escaped? Really? Yeah, like I said, I'm not I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have anywhere near enough. Um what am I thinking? I'm not gonna what's what are the 120? I I'm not I'm not gonna make this might as well fire her for the age. And hire this guy to replace her because he's a better officer. Uh, Mr. Varga introduced us to the man named Bob. Bob can get us any weapons we want, so we like Bob. But his neighbors just called saying they saw some strange men in his house, one of them carrying a knife. We want to keep Bob alive. Is that the sort of thing the police can help with? N no. Officer. Mostly because we're going to... Um, because I'm, I'm going to put the Sands in the lead after today, just because I need him to not kill me. So here, uh, reporters and onlookers have gathered around the building. The asylum patients are watching the growing crowd from the windows on the third floor. Let's gain entrance through the back. Defenders caught. Officers unharmed. Civilians were unharmed. End of the day. Well done, everyone. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna put the Sands back into the lead, just because I'd rather not, you know, get in trouble. Yeah, she's fired at the end of the day. And like I said, I'm not gonna that city hall objective or whatever, I'm not gonna be able to hit that, so 
really not, there's not really a point in trying. Um, a frightened woman phoned in reporting that two men dressed in armor were running through the street shouting, Beware our stings. They were chasing passersby and swinging their blades at them. They have not done uh, any harm, but their swords seem dangerous enough. Uh, that seems a little odd. Uh, actually, uh, Vandal, Robbins, Darius, handle that one. No, I think we're I think we're getting uh, I'm kind of getting the hang of this. Again, I keep saying this. I, I have just absolutely fallen in love with this game. An old friend is visiting Mr. Sand and they're planning to go horseback riding, but the owner of the country club just called. He wasn't making much sense, but it sounds like some punks uh, are beating Mr. Sand's horses to death. Christ. Fender caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Well done. Guys is out there just beating the hell out of some horses. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Varga seen help. Uh, after Sand smashed up all our sports cars, Mr. Varga promised us new ones today. The first of them arrived at the port. We wanted to go pick them up, but some assholes locked Tommy in his car and picked it up in the air with a crane. Tommy shouting like he thinks he's gonna about to die. Uh... Yeah, we'll send somebody. I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to keep the score in my head, and I, I think this will maybe keep us tied. I think. If we can, we'll try. If uh, we get an option, we'll do one more sand mission before we close out. But. Uh, Klim Yuriev reports that suspicious people are constantly going in and out of the apartment next door. They're carrying big bags, making lots of noise, screaming, and his three sons can't uh, concentrate on their homework. Mr. Yuriev urges someone's got to show these bandits who's boss. Alright. Four, and we'll also send Koenig just to let her gain some experience and send the paddy wagon. Like, I like the weather effect out, you know, like outside. It's just the, um, my whole thing with it is I just, it's, it's really loud in my freaking ear. Just what I was hoping. Uh, a whole mob of Vargas people attacked the truck belonging to one of our companies. Uh, this truck is carrying some important cargo, the kind only Mr. Sand and his, dep and his deputies know about. The driver tried to call us, but we lost the connection. He may already be dead. You've got to stop those assholes before they make off with the goods. Uh, we need three officers, though. Uh, the noise complaint. Offenders were caught. Officers unharmed. And oh, automatic weapons. Oh, that's that's a going to the mafia to sell kind of thing. Darius Johnson King. All right, two new frames, destruction of property. Road into the church. I have so quickly the guy drove straight between the pews, almost crushing a parishioner. Then he looked in the confessional, threw a bottle in there. Yeah, I think he said he hit. Bottle, that means stuck in my face. Yeah, so that came before that. Uh, we just need him throwing the bottle at the at the guy in the in the confessional. Hit and run, no new frames. Okay, so we must have everything. We just have it in the improper order. That's gotta be the last one, though. Hmm. Dark colored comes through. God, 
Oh, damn. I, I can't... A dark-colored car. Hmm. Got in. Almost hit a guy. There we go. William Holden frequents local bars. Repeated arrest for driving under the influence. Okay, my, my big issue was the... Um, the Somebody said the guy almost hit him. And I and that I was misunderstanding what the panel with the guy I was hitting the trash cans was. All right, there we go. Sus, uh, suspect taken care of. Run residential area. Williams last known place of residence, but uh, information is over three years old. So he's frequent. Yeah, he frequents the bar, but we can't handle that until tomorrow. I have new frames here. Threw the bottle and probably then ran out. Got it. Uh, Zoe Nosik, a student about a month ago, she unsuccessfully applied for an usher job at the last picture theater show, or last, yeah, that thing, uh, and the arson case, Robbins, Koenig, back him up, handle that, and we'll have to, uh, finish that investigation tomorrow. Now I also can uh, reassign my detectives. Uh, report on the arson. Offender caught. Well done. Case closed. You are able to arrest all the suspects. End the day. Sands at 7 and so are the Vargas. Ooh. We gotta be careful. We gotta put the Sands in the lead tomorrow. That's, we, we gotta do it. Alright, well guys, I think that's going to about do it for this one. I want to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links, uh, links to all that stuff can be found down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time. But until then, my name is H.A. Gels. This is the Amthar Gaming Channel. I'm out.